Welcome to CF News, a brief update on what's happening in the world of cystic fibrosis. And this week is a CF Week special, looking ahead at just some of the projects we'll be talking about this week that are moving us closer to a life unlimited by cystic fibrosis. Thanks to your support, we're now funding a total of nine strategic research centres that bring together international expertise to look at the big issues that affect people with cystic fibrosis. Dr. Michael Gray and the team collaborating on his strategic research centre are getting really excited about a protein called Splunk1. It's a protein that helps other proteins kill bacteria, but until Dr. Gray's team came along, it didn't work properly in the lungs of people with cystic fibrosis. We all know that pseudomonas can be a huge issue for a number of people with cystic fibrosis, and that the earlier we can find it and treat it, the better. That's why Professor Jane Davis and the team on her strategic research centre are looking into ways of detecting it earlier and earlier. Jane's been telling us that she's really excited about some of the stuff that's coming out of her research, so watch this space for updates later in the week. So one of the areas that I'm finding most exciting at the moment, which you'll be very aware of, is the development of the uh, new drugs trying to tackle the root cause of cystic fibrosis. And one of the things that's interested me, particularly from a pseudomonas perspective, is that some of the new CFTR modulating drugs, for example, Ivacafta, seem actually to be able to reduce uh, the chronic infection rate uh, in patients who are taking that drug with pseudomonas. Now we'd have never thought that this drug would have really had any anti-pseudomonal or antibacterial activity. So, so to see that actually patients can gain benefit from correcting CFTR and thereby they may also be able to clear some of these very chronic organisms which we've previously thought are pretty persistent is very exciting. Dr Siobhan Carr and Professor Nicola Robinson have been doing a pilot study to look at what benefits Tai Chi might have for people with cystic fibrosis. They've been teaching people both face-to-face -face and over Skype and are already seeing potential improvements in sleep quality and mental health. And finally, watch out for an announcement of a major new strategic research centre that will look to explore some pioneering gene editing technology. All of these projects are only possible thanks to your amazing support. The events you take part in, the sponsorship you raise, and the donations that you make help us to make sure that we can achieve a life unlimited for everybody with cystic fibrosis.